Making vinyl to put on things is one of my favorite things. I even amended this. This came with a different letter um, at Kirkland's and I added my own G. Here's a little tutorial video. All right, so I have my vinyl and I've already weeded it. It's gold. It's always coffee time. And I have this um, to-go thermos. I've taped off where I want it to be. So I'm gonna get my vinyl. So say you get your vinyl in the mail, you're gonna take a squeegee, so a um, credit card will do. And you're going to rub it down again. Then you're gonna get a piece of tape. I have um, painter's tape laying around, but scotch tape is fine or washi tape. And we are gonna do the hinge method. So this is where we place it with the tape. Tape it to where exactly where you want it. Then you're going to turn this over and remove the paper backing. Okay, you're gonna remove the paper backing and you see how that C isn't coming up, so I'm just gonna push my transfer tape, this clear stuff, back onto the paper. Um, yes, that is part of my eye. All right, so I'm gonna, I've got all the stuff that I want on the clear transfer tape, and then I'm just gonna rip as close to the blue painter's tape. And then I'm going to apply this to the cup. Taking it one letter at a time to make sure I don't get any buckling or bubbles. All right, so I got no bubbles on that side. So then I'm gonna come, my painter's tape is kind of thick. Regular scotch tape won't be this wide. Okay, so I'm gonna hinge it back to where I see where I tore this off. And then I'm gonna tear off on this side as well. Going at an angle is always best. So you see this is coming up, so I'm just gonna push it back down onto the transfer tape. There we go, so the arrow didn't really wanna stick. If you can't get it on there, then you can take a blow dryer and heat it up a little bit to get it off the backing. All right, so now I'm gonna take this side and again, just do it one letter at a time. Take your blue transfer tape off so that you can see what you're working with. So this is a little easier because it is words. If you had a solid um, vinyl going on a round surface, then what you would do is you would heat it up. To make this um, vinyl a little bit soft so that you can mold it and not get any um, wrinkles or bubbles. But since this is letters, it's, it's doing pretty good.
All right, so then you just heat it up with your hands. It's all rubbed in. And then you take off the clear transfer tape. So again, just like taking off the paper backing, you gotta watch, I use two scrap pieces, so that's why it's in pieces. You gotta watch to make sure nothing comes up. If something does come up on this clear tape, push it back down, rub it with uh, more heat from your finger or with a blow dryer. Oh, I see a little bubble right there in the E. See right there? So I can heat that up. Now it's not a bubble. You can see just a tiny little thing, but it's not a bubble. There it is. It's always coffee time. I hope this explains some things and don't forget to buy some vinyl or schedule a painting party. Designs by Danae.